Hey y'all, hey, how you doing today? Your truly guys, Princess Stephanie and Babe. Like I said, you can call me Stephanie, and I'm so glad that you all are reading these scriptures with me. Let's go ahead and get inside this morning. Inspo is coming in from 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31, from the NIV. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Hmm. Let's go ahead and break it on down. Called baby. And I read this and I was like, whatever you do. See, you can't tell some people whatever you do. Because they will actually do whatever you do. And you can't do whatever you do in the name of the Lord. Just like people were talking about YOLO. You only live once. Baby, I'm not trying to live just once because we actually going to live again after this life. I got to make sure that what I do on this side of Christ <laughs> is right. Ooh, that was bars. I just spit, baby. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. So I already did my commentary. Let me tell you all something. When you're reading the word and you don't really understand it, because I wanted to be able to tell you all about that whatever. Because let's think about it like this. Can we fornicate? And it all be to the glory of God? No. So we can't do whatever we want to do and say that we're giving God glory, especially if it's something that's dark. Because remember, we're in the kingdom of light and we can't give God glory for something that's dark. If you a drug dealer and you have made some money, you can't give God no glory for that because <laughs> you don't put your life on the line. <laughs> that you whatever, what I feel like has some clauses, but... What I was saying is when you start getting in the word, there are some things that you don't understand. You should get you a Strong's Concordance because it helps break down words in the Greek and Hebrew meaning, as well as read some commentaries and allow the Holy Spirit to register within you what to be able to eat from because you can't eat from everything that you read on the internet there's this okay. commentary from bible reef and it says paul has provided some specific guidelines in the previous verses about when christians should eat and refrain from eating food that has been offered to idols. those answers gave broad freedom to those who are spiritually strong and recognize that god gives a good purpose for everything he has created. Mm. Everything God created has a purpose, just like you and I, just like the animals that we eat. They have a purpose, although we're not going to even get into that. It continues to say, believers should be motivated to bring glory to God in everything we do or choose not to do. Ooh, when we choose not to do something, we give glory to God. We choose not to do something of our flesh from our former life, baby, we giving God glory for that. This includes our choices to eat, or drink or to refuse in all cases the question of whether this activity will bring me pleasure material gain or status should not be the deciding factor alone even for those who are free in christ just as anything done without conviction is sin Ooh. Anything done without conviction is sin. And you got a lot of people who say that they saved and they do some things that are sin and they don't get convicted about it. Are they really saved if you don't get convicted about the sin that you do or the sin that you commit? I'm just saying. Call baby. Anytime I do some, especially when, ooh, I got to tell y'all about this time I dated this guy, but I'm going to hold that on pause because this video will be too long. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you are understanding that whatever you do, especially in the light, give God the glory for it. Whether you eat it or you drink it, give God glory. That's another reason why we should say our grace. Let me tell y'all something. I do the morning inspo for the glory of God because it's all for you. <laughs> I love y'all. God loves you best. Hug that for me. Mwah!